That was Daryl. Another species has gone missing. Perkins, cooked. It just seems so pointless. Pointless, Lewis. Pointless? Daryl Wildlife Conservation Trust saves many threatened species in many threatened areas. Now, is that pointless? I meant us, sir. There really doesn't seem to be much we can do. That is true. Of course, if you really wanted to help, you could always die. Sir? See, the sad truth is, 70% of people give to charities while they're alive. Only 3% give after they die. After they die, sir? In their wills, God, in their wills. Ah, oh, well, that's appalling, sir. See, I think what they really need is some kind of publicity drive. Asking people to include Daryl in their will. Like a commercial, sir? Yeah, that's some kind of thing. I think what they really need is a celebrity to explain that the Daryl Wildlife Conservation Trust needs legacies to save species from extinction. Death and money, though, Carter. Sir? Death and money. Great British taboos. Nobody wants to talk about that. Ah, oh, celebrities, you mean? Yeah, exactly. And you'd have to get a very big name. I mean, someone very famous, dependable. Someone the people know and trust. Mm, exactly. Like a policeman of the telly. That doesn't need to be. But now you come to mention it. Yeah, but to have your face linked to death and money, you have to be very far gone. So far over the hill, the very fag end of your career, to be desperate for any kind of publicity. <laughs> I don't know about that, sir. But let me think I'd do it then. Oh, David Jason, he'd be good. Yeah. Well, how about that other bloke? You know, the one from Midsummer Murders. Who's that then? Oh, he's done Bergerac before, a bit of Shakespeare in his spare time. Takes himself very seriously. Yeah. Don't know him. What about Robbie Coltrane? Please help save species from extinction by leaving a gift to the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust in your will. Once you've provided for your loved ones, a gift of any value will make a difference. Thank you.